in coming out to vote to see that the results were not uploaded. Now, just to show you the extent of the mischief that occurred, the results for the National Assembly elections, which occurred at the same time, simultaneously with the presidential results, were able to be uploaded, but the presidential election results were not uh, uploaded. And till this day, as we speak, the results have not even been completely uploaded. What is even shocking is that we have seen uh, photographs of individuals, a woman in a bathroom, uploaded supposedly as results on INEX IREC page till this day. How can you elect someone on the basis of the photograph of a woman in the bathroom? I want to quickly mention that a lot of the international observers who were there were as disenchanted as I was. There were four African presidents, former presidents, who were in Nigeria to observe the elections. There were over 144,000 observers deployed across the country. And they all were disenchanted by what they saw. I want to say that what happened in Nigeria was not election observ observation, but a crime watch. We watched a crime being perpetrated on a country of 200 million people with utter and complete impunity. I also want to say that President Jimmy Carter has been vindicated. He went and observed elections in Nigeria many years ago, and he was so upset at the impunity and the brazen theft of the election that he vowed never to go back to Nigeria again. And as that distinguished uh, president is in hospice care, he stands vindicated because Nigeria has refused to learn its lesson.